don't know what this year is going to look like in the big picture and specifically how we will come together for services. But whatever comes, we'll figure it out together. We have been weighed down by sadness like a stone. uncertainty and unanswered questions, we're able to ground ourselves in our connection to the rhythms of nature and the cosmos. This week I heard Sufi teacher Kabir Helminski say in a class that nature is the first sacred book. In her poem, You Matter, poet Nikita Gill beautifully explains the fact of our deep kinship with the universe. You are not small. You are not unworthy. You are not insignificant. The universe wove you from a constellation just so. Every atom, every fiber in you comes from a different star. Together you are bound by stardust, all together spectacularly created from the energy of the universe itself. And that, my darling, is the poetry of physics, the poetry of you. And here we are in autumn, signified by this week having the autumn equinox. Delicious autumn, as George Eliot wrote. Delicious autumn, 
My very soul is wedded to it, and if I were a bird, I would fly about the earth seeking successive autumns. An equinox is a point in the year when the light of day and the darkness of night are in perfect balance. And this signals us to focus on our own need for balance in our lives. So often, our lives feel like they're in disequilibrium in some way. Too much work, not enough rest. Too much apathy, not enough activity. Too much worry, not enough pleasure. In Anamkara, Janodhanyu admits it's not easy being human by all the things we must keep in balance. He writes, in order to keep our balance, we need to hold the interior and exterior, visible and invisible, known and unknown, temporal and eternal, ancient and new, together. No one else can undertake this task for you. You are the one and only threshold of an inner world. This wholesomeness is holiness, to befriend the worlds that come to balance in you. Behind the facade of image and distraction, each person is an artist in this primal and inescapable sense. Each one of us is doomed and privileged to be an inner artist who carries and shapes a unique world. Use the following moments of prayer to look into your heart. Stay open to truthful, loving messages so that whatever the imbalance in your life, it might be revealed. We all will get ourselves into a comfortable position of relaxation and dignity. It is important to know that we pray for insight into what is the right balance for us, not giving all things an equal weight, but to find our balance as we pray. Divine Creator, you made the universe to work in perfect balance. I see the lesson of equilibrium that is manifested in the natural rhythms. May my life reflect that balance in a way that is right for me. I bring before you now what I can see in my life that brings imbalance. And if there is more for me to see, to understand, please help me. And now we take some time to allow to come to mind what there is too much of in our lives. So let's just have a few moments where we can reflect on that. And now ask yourself, what would it feel like in my body if there was less of what I had just brought to mind? Imagine it, and then how does that feel in your body? Is there a sense of release, a sense of balance? How does it feel? And now we will take three deep nourishing breaths to calm our systems in case those were upsetting thoughts in any way. So let's do that nice and slowly. Open your mind and your heart to finish this sentence. I want to welcome into my life 
more. Finish the sentence. How would it feel into your, in your body if there was more of what you just brought to mind? Imagine that. How does that feel in your body? And take another deep conscious breath. As the earth cycles and we experience this time of the balance of the light and dark, let us be drawn to a place of more equilibrium within. Amen. We can return to this prayer, this meditation anytime in order to give ourselves the time and attention to find what needs rebalancing. I bring to you now a song by Heather Houston, which she wrote just this past week and she shared with a class that I was in. Honoring the darkness, honoring the light, honoring the day, honoring the night, honoring the darkness, honoring the light, honoring the day, honoring the night, all things find their way into balance. All things find their way into balance. Honoring the darkness, honoring the light, honoring the day, honoring the night. Honoring the darkness, honoring the light, honoring the day, honoring the night. All things find their way into balance. All things find their way into balance. Honoring the darkness, honoring the light, honoring the day, honoring the night, honoring the darkness, honoring the light, honoring the day, honoring the night. With the change of each season, we like to consecrate and bless our bodies to reset our intention for the season. As I suggest each part of the body, um, you might want to touch it to bring you know, aliveness to it. Uh, when we get to the feet, you might want to wiggle your feet. So the seasonal blessing, forehead. May the teachings of openness, generosity, and gentleness be the underpinnings of your thoughts of yourself and others. Ears, may you listen closely to how this season, a gift, invites you to grow spiritually. Eyes, may you slow down and look more intently in order to see where you are needed May you take the time to see where spirit is moving in your life. Shoulders. May you carry your difficulties with courage. May you believe in your spiritual strength and may you allow the kindness of others help you along your way. Hands. May your service to the world be so intertwined with God's hopes for the world that love overflows in all you do. Heart. 
May you keep turning your heart over and over again towards God, towards goodness, like a bright sun, like a touchstone, like a home. And feet, you may want to wiggle them. May you welcome spiritual guidance and companionship as you travel the path of life. We are blessed to be able to return to this season. There's learning to be done, there are joys to be shared, and there are hands to hold. In the Brothers Karamazov, Fyodor Dostoevsky, that was a mouthful, all of that, writes, Love all God's creation, the whole of it, and every grain of sand. Love every leaf, every ray of God's light. Love the animals, love the plants, love everything. If you love everything, you will perceive the divine mystery in things. And once you have perceived it, you will begin to comprehend it ceaselessly, more and more, every day. And you will at last come to love the whole world with an abiding, universal love. We place our hands over our hearts to help us contact the place within that really wants to love and we sing together in that spirit. And please give the movements a try. Love within me, love before me, love to the right of me, love behind me, love to the left of me. Love above me, love below me, love within, love within you, love before you, love to the right of you, love behind you, love to the left of you. Love above you, love below you, love within, love within us, love before us, love to the right of us, love behind us, love to the left of us. May we let go with grace the behaviors, thoughts, and stories that are no longer useful for us to carry. May we lift up and keep before us that which inspires us to recognize and embrace the blessings of life. May we each be a blessing to ourselves and to all the life around us. Amen.